Yate and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Alana Yazi and I'm the creator and founder of the fancy Navajo.com, which is a lifestyle and food blog that follows along my life as a contemporary Danak woman living here in the city. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you may be watching this. If you aren't already following me on my social media channels, definitely give me a follow at the fancy Navajo on Instagram and at the fancy Navajo blog on Facebook. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab your favorite apron and let's get cooking. So the first recipe we're going to make today is fancy blue corn pumpkin pancakes. So the ingredients you'll be needing for this recipe are quite simple. You probably already have all of these on hand already. So the first ingredient that you're going to need is blue corn meal. You're going to need half a cup of roasted blue corn meal as well as half a cup of rolled oats. We're gonna be making our own oat flour, so stay tuned where I show you how to make that. You're also going to need a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, as well as one cup of milk. You can substitute this with non-dairy alternatives such as almond milk, coconut milk, um, whatever you have on hand. So you're also going to need half a teaspoon of baking soda, as well as a quarter teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of maple syrup, four tablespoons of pumpkin puree, uh, preferably pure pumpkin puree. However, we're living in some crazy times right now, so if you can't find pure pumpkin puree, you can also use the uh, pumpkin pie uh, puree as well, which is what I actually am using here today. Um, you also need one large egg, as well as pumpkin pie spice. So if you were unable to find pure pumpkin puree, um, you're going to need the spice. However, if you are using the pumpkin pie filling, then you do not need the pumpkin spice. And if you don't really enjoy pumpkin spice, you can exclude this uh, from the recipe as well. However, I love pumpkin spice, especially during the fall time. I get really excited about anything pumpkin spice. So for this recipe, we're gonna be making our own oat flour. And if you've never had oat flour, it's super easy to make. I like trying new ingredients as well as incorporating more nutritional ingredients into everyday foods that I eat. So instead of using a full all-purpose flour, we're going to add a little bit of more nutritional value to these pancakes by making our own oat flour. And it's super simple, super easy. All you're going to need are some rolled oats. And essentially what we're going to be doing is blending these up in a blender until it turns into a flour-like consistency. If you don't have the extra time to do this, you can also purchase oat flour at your local grocery stores. So to make my oat flour, I like using my magic bullet. It's a little blender that I can blend up things quickly. And all you're going to do is scoop in your rolled oats and you're going to blend it for about uh, 60 seconds or less until you get a flour-like consistency. So when it comes to using uh, oat flour, you can replace this for any recipe that calls for all-purpose flour. And you can substitute up to 25 to 30% of the regular amount of flour in most baking recipes. So after you blend your oats, it's going to look a consistency like this. As you can see, there's still some rolled oats that are intact, so I'm actually going to blend this up a little bit more so that way it's more smooth for our pancakes. All of the oats are now um, in a flour-like consistency. There's still just a tiny bit of the full oats, but that's okay. I like the little added texture to my pancakes. So let's go ahead and start mixing all of our ingredients. I don't like to do a lot of dishes, so we're just gonna use one bowl for this. And we're gonna first start with uh, putting all of our wet ingredients into our bowl. So we're gonna start with our one egg going in here, and then we're going to quickly uh, whisk that up. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our pumpkin puree. This is a pumpkin pie puree, so the spices are already in there. 
So we're just gonna scoop out all that yummy goodness. Don't forget to mention that some of you may be growing your own pumpkins at home. Um, and if you do, you can certainly use your own fresh pumpkin puree as well. That would be the fanciest option. I didn't grow any pumpkins in my garden this year. Next year, I definitely want to grow more. So let's also go ahead and add in our maple syrup. And I love maple syrup. And for this recipe, this is the only sugar that we're going to be adding um, to this recipe as well. I like using uh, maple syrup just because it's so yummy and it's so delicious. So we're going to go ahead and give that a little mix. And we're gonna add in our blue corn as well as our flour and our oat flour. And lastly, our milk. So let's go ahead and add all of that in and give it a good mix. Oops, we also can't forget our baking soda and our salt. So we're just gonna add all that in and we're going to give it a light mix. So when it comes to pancake batter, you don't want to mix it too much. You don't want to overwork the batter. We're gonna go ahead and let this sit for about 10 minutes while we get our griddle ready to start making our blue corn pumpkin pancakes. So now that we have let our batter sit, we're gonna go ahead and make our pancakes. And one thing I forgot to mention is if you feel like your batter is too thick or thin, you can go ahead and either add in more uh, milk or add in more flour to make it thicker or thinner. I personally like my pancakes to be a little bit on the thinner side so your batter should look a little bit thin for this recipe so we went ahead and uh, turned on our skillet to a low medium whenever you're cooking pancakes you're gonna want to make sure that it's a low medium heat because you don't want them to cook too quickly to where you only cook the outsides of the pancakes and the inside is still raw so I have mine on a low medium heat and let's go ahead and make Make our pancakes. I like to use a 1 fourth cup measuring spoon to place out my uh, pancakes. So I have a non-stick skillet pan so I'm not going to be adding anything to the bottom of this. You can use a uh, cooking oil or cooking spray or butter to coat your pan. So for the purpose of this cooking demonstration, I'm only making one pancake at a time. However, you can make multiple on a larger pan or skillet. And I think the hardest part about making pancakes is waiting to flip it over. I always want to flip them over immediately, but you want to wait until all the bubbles start to form on the top before flipping it over. Looks ready to flip over and Voila, there you go, you have a fancy blue corn pumpkin pancake. So I wish there was a smell button because it smells wonderfully delicious right now. It smells like fall and I'm going to go ahead and get my toppings ready for my pancakes. I like using uh, pine nuts because it reminds me of growing up in the southwest where we have a lot of pinion nuts so this is similar to it but you can also use any type of nut such as pecans or walnuts. They all taste delicious. Here's my favorite part of pancakes. It is the warm maple syrup. Today I'm using Ojibwe Dynamite Hills maple syrup and it is so yummy and delicious. If you haven't had pure maple syrup, you are missing out and I'm just topping it here with the roasted pine nuts. Our finished fancy blue corn pumpkin pancakes. They look and smell delicious. I wish I could share this with all of you right now. I hope this encourages you to try this at home. If you do make this, uh, please tag me in any pictures on social media. I love seeing all of your fancy Navajo creations. You guys take care and until next time, take care. Bye.